Now I've got my data set over here in a little table and I've sort of put this set this up inconveniently because it would have been better if we we're plotting ordered pairs to put my horizontal axis on this side and my vertical axis on the other but it doesn't really matter. So in order to find where to plot the point first thing I'm going to do is find half a second which would be two of those blocks. I come over here, I put the ruler up, this helps me keep my eye in the right place and I want 2.3 so this is 2.25, this is 2.5 so it's probably going to be around about there. Next one is at 2 seconds and 4.2 move it over to 2 seconds, this is 4.25 just a little bit below it next one is at 3.5 seconds 3.5 and 4.5 and 4.5 um, next one is at 5 seconds and 6 5 and 6 Um, the next one is at 6 and 8. Next one is at 7.5 and 8.5. 8.5. Oh, I made a mistake here. That one should be up there, and this one should be up here. Uh, 8.5 is over here, 7.5, 8.5, and I want 9 and 9.5, which is going to be over here. Alright, when I look at this graph, I can see a significant scatter, but the trend looks like it's linear. It doesn't necessarily appear to be going through the zero or the origin. So I can't say that it is. Um, if I were taking using this actual data, hopefully I will have uh, seen that my measurement accuracy wasn't that good because the amount of scatter on this graph is quite large. So what I'm going to do is assume that the data that I've been given actually has an error of plus or minus 0.2 because I don't see this as being a plus or minus 0.1 type of error here just from the scatter so I'm just going to make that plus or minus 0.2 on both axes. I'm going to now draw in the error bars 0.2 or 0.25 let's say is one block I think that's a reasonable number to make this and I'll make that 0.25 that way, 0.25 that way. .25 this way. And even at 0.25, it looks like I'm not going to get a um, nice line of best fit through here because I really, when I'm looking for a line of best fit, want to see the line go through all of the um, all of the points. I'm putting the error bars in the time. Yeah. The way that this data was given to me, one would assume that the, with the significant figures that the error was only plus or minus 0.1, but assuming that it's supposed to be somewhat linear, it's clear from the scatter that the error is something bigger than that, which is why I'm showing it. 
If we're doing an actual experiment, we should actually have a better estimate of the errors. Now, when you're looking at something like this, what do these error bars mean? It means that if I draw, I'm going to draw in a little box here, just so you can see it. It means that the actual data point can be anywhere inside that box.